My friends, Coach Vig, morning yoga for men with a big emphasis on hips and lower back and of course the rest of the body. Today's random question is, and do this routine first and then let us know which song is your official theme song for today. Let us know in the comments below. I'll let you know mine. All right, modify as needed, always use control. Feel loose, feel energized. Strength, flexibility, and mobility for your day. Let's bring it onto our backs, all body weight. No weights, no machines. Bring the knees into the chest, head down, or put a pillow on the back of your head. Rock those legs side to side. We wanna loosen up the entire body, bring energy, bring focus, and smooth out areas that are not aligned or stagnant. Bring the legs up to the side a little bit. Inhale, exhale. Fingers and toes are loose. I'm out here on an island overlooking Lake Neshonic in West Salem, Wisconsin, where I learned how to play hockey right out there. In the winter time, of course. Not right now, no. Okay. Now drop the legs to your right. Lying spinal twist. Bring them over. If you like, you can extend the top leg out, grabbing it with that hand. Relax, release your shoulders down. Take a few breaths right here. Excellent, move to the other side. Inhale, center, and exhale, drop those legs down. Let the chest be open, find that twist. I recommend doing this routine every morning for at least two weeks. Keep us posted down below, but keep practicing. It may not all happen at once. It usually does, it takes time, it takes consistency. So stay with these stretches and they will reward you. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out, in the nose, out the nose, or find your own pattern, but make sure you're filling and emptying the lungs. <clears throat> okay, back to the center, bottoms of the feet together. We open the hips in the lying butterfly. Place the hands on your thighs and press side to side. This is twofold. It's gonna open your hips, create space. <laughs> Open the groin, the psoas, and loosen up your lower back with this rocking and pressing is gonna stretch out the lower back. Some nice traction, opening up and decompressing. You want space in the back, in the low back. Little back bend, lower back is gonna lift off the mat. Oh, full body stretch, reach, all directions, and then come on up. Seated position, butterfly stretch. Bottoms of the feet together, wherever the knees are, hands on the feet, rocking back and forth. Look at those gnats. It's actually pretty early in the morning here in Wisconsin. So the gnats are out, but they seem to be leaving me alone, maybe because of the copious amounts of bug spray I put on. Side to side. Excellent. Now, shoulders back and down at a twist. Side to side, dynamic movement. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. As I say, keep it loose. Encourage blood flow, especially into your low back. Difficult area to maintain, to address. Okay, one more time, each side. Keeping those shoulders down. And seated pigeon. Shake out the legs, shake out the arms. As I say, keep it loose. Okay. 
Left foot flat, bring your right ankle on top of the left thigh. Hands are down. We're gonna press into that stretch. Rocking side to side if you like. Now some of these stretches, I know they might be a shock to the system. Move slowly, use your breath, use those exhales to massage your way into the pose. And uh, with consistency and regular practice, they will smooth out beautifully. It's like this stretch right here, opening the hip, the glute, the low back. We're getting a sway in here because you want to start activating movements that you will use throughout the day, whether you know it or not. But any kind of twist, lengthening, twisting, do them now, do them here and set the tone for the day. All right, other side, <laughs> the bug blow technique. Left ankle on the right thigh. Would you get, would you get off my arm, please? Okay. I'm very popular with the bugs around here. We're swaying side to side. Pay attention to your upper body too. Drop the shoulders back, open the chest, and then savor the movement with the breath. Fill it with inhales and exhales. On the exhale, squeeze out breath in the lungs, wring it out like a wet washcloth. That's the Lewis Palmer Octagon House back there behind me. I might be doing a little volunteer work in there. It's an old historic home in West Salem. I just need to make a phone call took my son there last week. It's amazing. I love historic homes like that. I like giving tours of them as well. All right, beautiful, my friend. Shake out the arms and legs. Just a couple more things. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but you want more bang for your buck with these flows. So you do a lot in a short amount of time, very concentrated. Bring the knees to the edges of the mat. We press back in child's pose and then thread the needle. Left arm comes underneath on a little bit of a diagonal, shoom, like that. Now, if you like, kick this right leg out, a little Spider-Man move. So we have the hip and we're gonna press into that foot, encouraging rotation as we stretch the shoulder, as we lengthen and release the back. When you get into a pose, feel it out, investigate it, move around inside it, get comfortable. They're not frozen, they're living, they're breathing, and they ebb and flow the way we do. And you're thinking about that theme song, aren't you? One more breath. Does that feel good? Feel good on your back? Yeah, I feel a consensus. I can hear you. There's always one or two people going, oh man, I hate you, but I might be in love with you. Who knows? It's a weird love-hate thing that we have. Okay, child's pose. Um, what am I doing? Oh yes. What am I doing? Right arm underneath. <laughs> Slide it through. If you like, left leg kicks out and we got a big show going on here. Let it all come together, strong breath. Let your sides and low back expand with the inhales. If you could always practice that by sitting or standing and placing your fingers on your sides and your low back right in here, and then breathe into that area to know exactly where it's going. Beautiful, coming out of it. Stretch back once again, child's pose. Take three breaths. I don't know if you can get much better than a child's pose variation for a low back, a back stretch, for back shoulders, circulation, movement, release, and preparing your back for what is to come. <clears throat> All right. 
come on up. Gonna go to a, let me switch the cap here. Sun's in my eye, but I love that. Coming to a sumo squat, feet on a diagonal, wide apart hands on the tops of the thighs here. So we're using the hands to actively press further into the stretch. Shoulder, ah, shoulders, you're gonna shrug a little bit. Now from the sumo squat, maybe this is enough right here, working that stretch. Your tailbone is going down, your hips are open. If you need to come out of it, just shake it out. You might have some cramping, shake it out. Now add some twisting, back and forth. Fish are jumping this morning, my friend. I think I'm taking my son fishing today as well. We might come to this lake. Twisting back and forth. We have some swimmers out there. Whew, how's that feel? It's real time. Your body adapts in real time. It reacts. It's not some kind of theory that you're putting away for later. Shoe gnats, look at those gnats. Oh man, hope it doesn't impede your flow. All right, two more breaths. Whew. Okay, take the feet forward, soften the knees. Uh, forward fold, hands can be on the legs here. You don't wanna come all the way down or bring the hands down and rock it side to side. Okay, rising up and that's it my friends well done coach Vig. if this flow helped please click the like button subscribe and click the notification bell to never miss one of my workouts and uh, answer the famous question the random question below which theme song is yours today which song is your theme song today I would say mine has to be the theme from the greatest American hero believe it or not George isn't at home I'm walking on air have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you want more flows just like this. Coach Vig over and out. God bless you. We'll see you real soon.